So I'm going to begin by giving a quick background of what Arnike is for anyone who isn't already acquainted with it. It is a place for all the various dregs of society to congregate. Uh, this board in particular is notorious for misogyny, women hating, and mental illness, and being full of neats, people who are removed from society in every way. To the point where back in the good old days, you would see people posting the various piss bottles they kept around, so they wouldn't have to walk to the toilet. We're talking that level of dysgenic human beings, these broken, mean little men. And I'm not here to talk about that or criticize them. I want to discuss the more recent developments of the board, which is basically characterized by trap posting. Uh, so anyone following the board from pre-2015, 2016, knows that there was a huge change from the woman-hating, depressive attitude it used to have into its current one, obsessed with gays and trannies and penises. Uh, there used to be a few gentle femdom threads, which would evolve into a bunch of footer stuff, uh, trap posting, and now is at its height in R9 gay. This all kept going until the point where almost every single day, you would have endless threads about traps, advice for taking hormone replacement therapy, and workouts to get the trap aesthetic, and so on. And that's all still here now. You can go on R9K any day, and you'll see all of this. So, with that out of the way, we can get on to the big issues going on at the moment with, with this board. Uh, to boil it down as simply as possible, there is a cabal of deranged homosexuals who post trap threads, gay threads, and encouragement for people to take hormones. Uh, on the board is a constant effort. You can see evidence of this, uh, hopefully on screen. And these people don't deny they're doing it. In fact, they admit it proudly. Uh, they use their discords to congregate and spam these threads. Now, you could call this, as, as they're calling it, a psyop. All of this is obviously mentally deranged, ill, and extremely abusive. Uh, keep in mind what Anand K is. It's well known for being a hive of the most mentally ill, pathetic, worthless losers on the planet who are sexually frustrated beyond imagination. So these people openly admit going out of their way to post as many threads as possible to convince these broken young men to begin taking hormones. These are young men who would do anything for any kind of sexual um, affection or intimacy, even going as far as uh, hiring prostitutes or various other things as we often see, and we all know are fetishistically deranged, they're all viewing porn regularly. So now that they have an outlet to receive some kind of sexual gratification if they begin posting themselves as traps. And so they do this and the discord of these people uh, spam erotic role-playing threads and they will spam idealized images of traps, these anime images. So what could be worse? How could this develop any further? The seeming leader of one of these discords, uh, spamming on NK known as Raiko, discord name Raiko hashtag 3333, along with someone called Haruka, have a discord harem of traps they've collected from R9K. They spend their time going around multiple 4chan boards, including X and Soch, but mainly on nk spamming invites to uh, Raiko's harem. Uh, this is his personal discord for the various depressed, mentally ill, neat, lifeless fucks he's managed to convince put it, to start putting dildos up their ass and considering taking hormone replacement therapy. As mentioned before, he openly admits and is proud of the fact that he has collected this uh, mentally ill cesspit he calls a harem. Uh, now, from this point on, the things I'm going to talk about are largely unverified, and Raiko himself and his Discord cabals uh, claim this is disinfo, the various things I'll be bringing up. But whether or not this is uh, all lies, whether it is bollocks, doesn't change how sick these people are to begin with. But if these claims are true, it does significantly change things, I believe. So let's have a, a read of this first picture I'm going to put up for you, knowing all that we already do and how these people behave. Join Trap Discord. They asked me for a picture of me dressed up in order to join. Showing face. Uh, shit is like a cult. Everyone worships some nigger called Raiko. Turns out they've doxed me and have all my info. And just to clarify, he explains how they doxed him in the threads if you go back. Uh, they're blackmailing me with this pic, saying that if I don't take HRT, they will mail it to my family and friends. They've done this shit to numerous other people. What the fuck do I do? Now, there's also been another young man claiming the same. If we look at this, we'll see he is a young man who has drawn a bunch of words on his body, including the name Raiko in large letters, and a bit claiming that PSN owns this, pointing down to his genitalia. 
Now, of course, this could be a, a false flagger, a disinfo shill trying to post semi-nude images of himself with this stuff written on him onto R9K uh, to to scare us all, to make us think there's some kind of boogeyman. But, I mean, likely enough, uh, he has probably been blackmailed or convinced into doing this. And either way, even if he hasn't been blackmailed and he's just doing this of his own volition, it really shows the mindset and culture of this board in general, that it creates such degenerate people that they're willing to do this kind of thing. Now, uh, I will say that the, the info for these blackmails is sparse, it's very lacking. Uh, there was also another one claiming they have been blackmailed by this Discord into getting a tramp stamp, which is some kind of tattoo. But... Regardless, the compilation of everything here in this video uh, that I'll present has been far, far beyond the point of disgust. These people are taking advantage of the most vulnerable, lifeless, depressed group of men you could probably find on this earth and trying to, uh, through manipulation, or as they call it, psyops, uh, use them as sex toys and convince them to fetishize every aspect of their life. And these people almost certainly will kill themselves. Uh, I have no doubt that every single person involved in the tarum will be considering suicide rather soon, or do it. And to keep in mind, all of this is in the wake of a rather depressing, uh, incredibly disturbing suicide for anyone who's been on the board for a long time. Um, there was a young man out there who shot himself live on stream with a shotgun in the head recently. I do not suggest watching the footage, it's out there if you if you really want to, but it's incredibly disturbing, and I think it probably will stick with you. To recap all of this, there is a uh, cabal of people out there who are spending their time trying to convince depressed virgin men to become traps. And this is so they can sexually roleplay with them, potentially blackmail them, get nudes off of them. And the way they do this is by spamming threads over and over and over onto this board as part of a concerted effort to make HRT look great. To make these young men who are depressed uh, and sexually starved think that by taking hormones, their lives will be improved. By dressing up in girls' girls' clothes, they will feel uh, fulfilled. And it's all rubbish. I mean, they they fake being people on these threads uh, who are enjoying it. So you'll see something like a thread saying, oh, just take the pink pill and become a trap. Your life will improve. And then, you know, you'll have someone suggest that they take HRT. Someone else will say, oh, yes, I, I started hormone replacement therapy. It's been great for me. I love it. I, I have my sexy, cute boyfriend. And one thing to notice that these people do is that, and, and this is in R9K especially, not once do they ever post pictures of real adult men. Not once. These are all images of anime traps. These are sexy, cute, dezu lolly things. These uh, disgusting aberrations. And they do this so that they can try and convince these young, uh, mentally ill young men to begin transforming themselves so that they can turn into a little anime character. And that might sound beyond, beyond insane, but I think it very clearly works. I... You really need to try and get into the head of these young men. I don't think you, anyone can really do it unless you've been in that place yourself, but it, it is far beyond the normal boundaries of human life. These people have been broken on every level. So to finish, R9K is a cesspit of sin. It is what happens when everything in a society falls apart. It is the reduction of human life in its entirety to the most base, fetishistic, warped, pornographized desires. It is abuse occurring here at the highest level, and I urge anyone watching to never browse the board, dissuade anyone from watching it, and collect all the info you possibly can on these people, and really just take away from this that there are some disgusting, deranged, homosexual perverts out there, the likes of which you probably can't imagine, doing the most insane things to try and further themselves in the most autistic internet spheres you can imagine. Uh, regardless of whether the blackmail stuff is true or not, all of this thing, all all of this stuff is beyond the pale. It is horrific. And keep in mind that this is always around the corner. Uh, transsexual stuff doesn't come lightly. When you start taking hormones for five years, well, there's no turning back. You've got to kill yourself or keep going.